Hey there everybody, Michael Shelley and well, Talon in the back as usual. So hi Talon. Where are we at? Is this our new favorite park? Our new favorite non-military park. Yeah, and it's Strawberry Fields. Not forever, but for our beers. Depending on which way you come in, you may be told to turn out on a road by a church and it looks kind of squirrely for a big rig. This is that road. You can do it. We didn't at first, but you can definitely do it. But you'll come up here and you'll see the sign that says, well, Strawberry Fields for RVers, enter here. Guess what we're gonna do? Enter. Yes, we're gonna enter. And we're gonna talk about all this stuff in front in a minute but we're gonna head over to the office and to get to the office we got to drive by the picnic pavilion pickleball shuffleboard and um i think what else is going on over they here they have a fire pit they have um barbecue grills for you to use so there's no um wood burning fire pits at your site but you can use propane yep office is right here in front of us so go in there and check in you can also get your mail there because you can have mail delivered for no extra fee which is a big deal you can actually go that way if you want with your RV and come around mm -hmm. or you can pull up alongside here so there's two ways to do it yeah either way you need to do there's almost 200 spots here pull throughs paved some are grass sites and we're just gonna go ahead and I'll let Shelly pick a row because they're all the same um, this is a brand new park for the most part. It was opened in 2019. And wow, that's quite a trailer on the back of that Dutch Star there with his Goldwing trike. Sites are 75 feet long. So nice and long. This is a very quiet park too. Lots of people around out and about, but it's nice and quiet. You don't hear any road noise. Now this is Chiefland, Florida. Not a lot in Chiefland. It's a nice little town, but if you're looking to do a lot of like shopping or things like that, you're gonna have to go to like Gainesville, which is about half hour or so away. So, 45 minutes. Yeah. Got it down, 45 minutes. And you're about what, an hour or so from like Cedar Key or the Gulf beaches and stuff like that. Give Cedar, or take. Cedar Key is 35 minutes. Yep. Oh, there you go. Yep. And um, and Crystal River is about an hour. Yeah. So there's lots that you can go do. There are state parks around that are out and about from here. Um, your only shopping here is Walmart, Winn Dixie, and a Save a Lot, which is Save a Lot's like right across the street. So. Yeah. Dollar General. And Dollar General. And they're quickly building a circle, a huge circle gay. Mm -hmm. But Quick. there's lots of restaurants here. Yeah, lots of good restaurants. We haven't mm -hmm. gone into a bad one yet. So as you can see, the sites may be a little close um, for comfort. We've seen a whole lot closer. They are level. Water pressure in some areas we've heard um, reports on is not very good. It's it's okay where we're at. We've had way worse. The management here, which is also the owners, they really want you to tell them what needs to be done here. You know, improvements, what they're doing good, what they're doing wrong, things like that. They are open for suggestions. The daily rate here is $38.85 currently. And this is February 2021. Weekly is $222. Monthly is $444 plus electric and then they have a six month and a 12 month rate too and that's tax included so that's that's the whole rate yeah you can stay in these back ones but they're more for the long termers yeah yeah but these these aren't pull throughs well i guess they could be pull throughs because there's nobody in in the okay. backside site 
but and here's the grass sites and I know we drove by ours we're gonna showcase ours a little bit more in a minute because we got a nice spot this is the expansion area so this is the newer area so I don't know if they have plans to actually pave the spots or not probably not would be my guess but they are a little bit roomier back here we have heard that there are the briar stickers, sand spurs, goat heads, whatever you want to call them. Um, there are some of those in the back areas, um, in the grassy areas. But we have not had that issue where we're at. We're in the paved area and we do have grass, mm -hmm. but we haven't had that same sticker problem. And how many campgrounds do you go to that have a boat in it? Nice sailboat. Mm -hmm. They do have golfing. You can hit oh, golf yeah. balls uh, off the back there. Yeah, that yeah. And a trail that goes around. Yeah, behind all these RVs here on the right, you can um, practice your driving. Yes, it's not a golf course. It's yeah, a, it's a driving hit the, range. Hit the golf ball. It's a drive. Make it go. They call them a driving range. Oh, yeah. hit, hit the golf ball. Yeah, hit the golf ball range thingy. <laughs> Watch my doodles. All I'm that. sorry, I don't have a golf cart, so I guess I'm just not in the loop. <laughs> yeah. But we are, we're in the loop. We're gonna be making this loop right here. Coming around. We're gonna hit this guy on the bicycle. I was gonna say, our friends have electric bikes and I've been able to use it this, while we've been visiting with them here. And we have had the most fun just riding up and down. They're really great wide roads here to ride around. They're fairly level. You know, you don't have really big hills to go up and down with your bikes, so um, it's, it's fun to do that. Plus, there's a lot of walkers. A lot of people cannot walk, skate, all kinds of things. You gotta be careful. When you say a lot of walkers, the Walking Dead fans think, oh man, this place is full of zombies. Oh, it's not. No. We haven't really seen any zombies. I don't think. I don't know. Have you seen any zombies? I haven't seen any zombies. Okay. Talon? She's laying down. She hasn't seen any zombies. So we're going to give you a, a close look at pretty much all the amenities here. These back sites, just to let you know, if you have more than one vehicle, they prefer you be in these back sites because they are bigger and wider for that. Um, to allow for like if you have extra, you know, your uh, ATV with you or your sailboat, sailboat or your extra <laughs> vehicles or whatever that you know, or if you want to put your own like swing up and go shed. So, yeah, as you um, get, there's a lot of there's not a lot, but there's a few full timers. But here. they're definitely Permanence. a wider yeah. spot for you to get a couple vehicles and stuff yeah. in. So. Okay, this little fenced area is straight ahead. Well, yeah, take a wild guess at what that is. It is all dirt, is what it is. It's an all dirt dog park, and we're gonna take a quick peek at it. Out the window. It's all dirt. All dirt all the time. There's also a nice long dirt road there that um, you can take for your bikes. There is a bike to rail, a rail, yeah, rail to trail or I don't know how they say that here in Chiefland and you can go there easily on the bikes um, and you can bike around town there's a lot of um, easy access restaurants and shopping that you can do okay here on the right where all these vehicles are stopped that's where you can throw your trash away here on the right also is pretty much all the amenities here there's the back side of the pickleball court we're gonna go ahead and pull in here and take a look at some things they're expanding as well so in the future they're gonna have a very big um like rec room area um i'm not sure what that actually is going to be called but it's a big room that's going to have a stage and like a where they can like a community room a community room yeah with stage and stuff and then a kitchen and everything and they're also going to build a pool so that should be in the next I don't know, few years but let's go check out some of these indoor amenities now shall we especially the what is it what are they calling it here the bidet chalet the bidet chalet <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> let's check right, here's the rec area community center we're gonna call it echoing in here table bunch of games over here 
It's a really nice facility. We've got a puzzle room and a library. Just take a look at it. Thank you. Folks are working on this puzzle. I'm joining them helping out. Got a bunch of DVDs here. Hey, look at that. If you need a VCR, there's a VCR. Wow, even got an encyclopedia talking about some blasts from the past. Here's a bunch of CDs. David Bowie. Al Stewart. I love Lucy. Yeah, something you don't see in many campgrounds either is what we're going to show you right here. Oh, first of all, dance workouts every Thursday night in the pavilion from 6 to 6.30. Look at all these pool tables. You got a big area here, so if you want to like have a meetup or something, this is a great place to do it. So this is the community room. Now we're going to check out the laundry and the, the day. All right, what's up, guys? We're in the day chalet number. Call it number. Call it number two, I guess. Um, it's the second one over. There's six of these in this building, so, and these are super nice. Look at all this room here. Here's your shower. Nice big shower, little seat there, another seat there, toilet paper, chair. There's puzzles everywhere. High ceilings, you got heaters up there, heat lamps. Controls for them all. And here's the laundry room. Three dollars to wash, two fifty to dry, or you can do it old-fashioned. Lots of room. Well, we just did a mail stop. That's why we're driving by the office. You can also get uh, golf balls there to go to the driving range with. Now, that's nice. Got buckets of plenty of buckets of balls. So we're gonna head on back to our site and we're gonna talk about some site-specific stuff here. Now, we are very happy with the site we got. Like I said, all these sites here appear to be level. Ours definitely is level. And we're on the end. As you can see here on the left and the right, these end sites have a lot of space. Now, be prepared, obviously, if you're on one of these end sites, for fellow campers to walk their dogs in your area. It happens. Not a fan of it, but they do. Now, even in smaller sites, we've had it. Luckily here, we haven't had seen an issue too bad of people not picking up after their dogs, but we have had it here once in our site. Little dog. It's always the little dogs too. People won't pick up after the little dogs. I think it's because they don't pay attention. They just don't see it maybe. So here's our site. Let's go ch check out how the water is and how all the other stuff is. All right, so here's our campsite at F1. Lots of room here, as you can see. Walk around to the other side. This nice big pull through spot. A couple of things I want to point out here is the sewer is close, which is nice. So you don't need a thousand feet of sewer hose. There's my on the go water softener and my Hughes Auto Former and EMS. And my Clear 2O. Water pressure here. There you go, about 50 pounds per square inch. Water is very hard, so you definitely need an on-to-go water softener here. All right, since I'm standing by the Wii Boost, we might as well talk about cell signal and internet access. Campground does have Wi-Fi. It is pretty slow, just like most campground Wi-Fi. Sprint, T-Mobile, 5G, works really great, super fast. AT&T is okay, Verizon's okay, both those are 4G. 
I love it here. It's great. For the price especially, it's awesome. Can't wait till you get the pool in and the larger clubhouse. Well, I know you can't wait for the pool at least. <laughs> So if you've stayed here before, let us know in the comments below. If you've got any questions about this place, let us know in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer them. Check their website out first. There's a link to that in the description below. And if you'd like to help us help Christian-based veterans charities, there's links to many different ways you can help us. Remember, we don't keep a dime of the money we make off our social media platforms. We give it all to a Christian-based veterans charity. We want to thank you so much for watching. And make your next journey an epic adventure. See ya. See ya.